Hey, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Lewis, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to do a proper oil change on your 11th gen Honda Civic, or really your 10th gen Honda Civic. They both have close to the same engine, so doing an oil change should be about the exact same. Now, for the 11th gen Honda Civic, I went with OW20 because that's what it says on the oil cap, and that's what the maintenance manual says. And then, um, yeah, I went with AMS oil 100% synthetic. There's no real reason why I went with AMS oil 100% synthetic other than I've just heard nothing but great things about them. So feel free to use whatever oil brand you wanna go with. And then for the oil filter, I just went to Walmart and I looked up the proper oil filter for the 2022 Honda Civics and up. So I just bought the one that they had. There was only really one in stock. So I went with, a, I believe it's the mobile one. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. I'll show you exactly what I did. Uh, to begin with, I did start the car and I brought it up to operating temperature. Now, this is just gonna make sure that your oil flows out a lot better whenever you go to do your oil change. And yeah, don't go driving uh, crazy and then doing an oil change immediately afterwards. <laughs> First, it's gonna be way too hot in the engine bay and you might burn yourself. Okay, so once you got your car up to uh, operating temperature, go ahead and open up the hood and then you wanna take off the oil cap and I just place it right on top of where it's supposed to go. This is just to make sure that your oil flows out better. Now, once you do that, go ahead and jack your car up. Uh, take the splash guard out. It's only really a couple of uh, half turn uh, flat heads and then like two or actually I think it might be four Phillip head screws and then your splash guard comes out. It's really easy to get out, not that big of a deal. And then once you do that, we can go ahead and begin. All you have to do is uh, remove the oil drain ball. It's pretty easy to locate. It's on the oil pan and Yeah, once you do that let the oil drain out once it's completely done draining uh, the manual does tell you to get a new washer and install the bolt uh, Torque down to 30 foot-pounds Once that's done you can go ahead and remove the oil filter There is going to be oil in the oil filter so expect to get oil all over your gloves and hands It's just what's gonna happen now the oil filter can be really hard to take off. So I ended up using some vice grips to take it off. They do make oil filter removal tools. I didn't have one, so I used vice grips. And then once you get the oil filter removed, go ahead and pour some oil into your new filter and then twist it back on. Now, pro tip, make sure you put some oil around the, the gasket of your new filter. That's just gonna make sure that it's and gets a proper seal and it makes it a little bit easier to take off the next time that you go to do your oil change and yeah that's pretty much it for the bottom end now when you go to put the new oil in your car the maintenance manual does say to put 3.7 quarts i did a full four quarts um that but the honda maintenance manual does say 3.7 i ended up checking the fluid level afterwards and i'm still in between the minimum and the maximum i'm a little bit over the middle but I'm still in between those two lines. Now, as long as you're in between those two lines, you should be perfectly fine. Again, that's what I just did. Uh, you don't have to follow what I did. You can just do the, you can measure out the oil if you want to and put 3.7 quarts instead of a full four quarts. And then that should put you right uh, dead center in between the two lines. Um, so yeah, once you finish pouring your uh, oil inside the car, go ahead, put the cap back on and just start your car for a little bit, let the oil circulate. And yeah, you should be ready to go. Drive around, uh, drive around the block, come back, and just make sure there's no leaks, nothing's, uh, no oil is coming out of the oil filter or the drain bolt. And yeah, if there's no leaks, you should be good to go. And it's really that easy. Uh, just make sure to reset your the maintenance on your dash. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. That's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helps you out if you're new to doing your own oil change. And yeah, good luck.